Oh, oh, okay. Hi, Hi beauties. Today we're trying out the new Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This is a one fluid ounce bottle of foundation, which retails for $48. This Laura Mercier foundation does come in 30 shades. It's supposed to be long lasting, have medium to full cover, and have some skincare benefits as well. So I'm excited to show you guys this on my face. I did use two shades of this foundation to get a very perfect match. This one is 5N. Uh, two hazelnuts so it's on the neutral side and I have 6w1 ganache which is more warm which is my undertone without further ado let's get into the video I love the way this primer makes my face look so like silky smooth it reminds me of like Tatcha products it is also Korean um, Skin therapy so for the foundation I have two shades I have 6w1 ganache and I also have 5n2 hazelnut what I like to do is take a few drops of ganache and maybe three for this side maybe that's the four actually I'm gonna add in two drops of hazelnut then I'm gonna mix it together so this is pretty much my perfect color I'm gonna apply that if I were to just get one of these, I would probably get ganache since it's deeper and then I could always lighten with concealer. Then I'm going to blend, we're going to blend her out. Makeup by Mario mentioned this was his favorite Laura Mercier foundation and I completely agree. I really like this foundation a lot. The name did throw me off. The name threw me off at first because I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm a little scared of products that are going to be like luminous because I don't know how my skin is going to react. But actually, I um, have worn this foundation for like full days in a row. I've worn this foundation for a full day multiple times and I don't get any more oily than I would with my uh, favorite mattifying foundations I just my t-zone and that's it it looks really good all day long I also do skin prep so I guess that helps it makes my skin look so good I love it all right I'm gonna do the concealer now this is 5n of the flawless fusion concealer Whenever you blend out the concealer on the side of your face, make sure you go down with it and not up. I want to blend out my concealer under my eye. So we can use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm also adding a little bit more concealer to You're gonna blend out the concealer. Blend out your pools, girl. I went to Wicked's NYC yesterday and they have some theater makeup in there, so I picked up a uh, Banai powder. You mean already you went to this? Yes. When I'm doing a foundation where it has translucent powder um, to set is better because it doesn't change the color of the pot of the foundation. If I use a 
colored powder it will change the color a little bit I don't want to be confused later on so I'm gonna use some contour powder now right here I'm gonna push this a little up add a little bit here this foundation looks so good you guys like oh my god snatched you know <laughs> Juno. We're gonna add some bronzer. This is the Gourlay number no. nine that I always use. Up first. Throw on some lashes. I'm gonna add a lip color now. For lipstick, I'm gonna use Fenty's Unlocked. I am wearing a brown lip liner, so it did make the color a little bit darker. I'm gonna add a little bit of Muse. Pink makeup. I'm gonna try the model in a bottle set and spray. This is my first time trying this and I heard so many good things about it. So let's try this out. Um, so far I do love the foundation. I have already worn it so I guess I know I like it. But I will do a wear test so you guys can see how it wears throughout the day. I also want to see how that set and spray holds up throughout today. So. I'm excited for that too. You guys, how cute is this phone case? This is from Velvet Carviar and Carly Bible. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, let's see. Laura. So the foundation is supposed to deliver a perfectly glowing finish that looks luminous in any light. Immediate glow and improved natural luminosity within one week. It has vitamin C. Oh, oh, okay. It, it definitely is. <laughs> um, I was actually just looking for a vitamin C serum. This is interesting. So um, I still need to get my serum, but I just thought it was interesting that it's in the foundation. Look at that. Revealing brighter, clearer, and more even toned skin over time. This is crazy. This is literally a foundation, you guys, with skincare benefits. Powerful 15 hour hydration. I definitely do think it wears pretty long. I haven't worn it for 15 hours, but I wore it for about, I'll say like 10 hours at the most so far. And I think it lasted pretty well, except my T-zone that did get, my T-zone did get oily though. It is weightless, medium to full coverage, which I do agree with. I think the coverage is buildable to full cover. It has a naturally luminous finish for all skin types, normal to dry or especially normal to dry so they kind of left that oily combination skin so we're gonna see how this foundation holds up today I'll vlog a little bit so you guys can see throughout my day hello wear test so I'm on the vlog camera now I'm gonna do the wear test for you guys it's been an hour of me wearing the foundation I applied it around 11 and it's somehow it's 12 10 right now every couple hours I will show you guys how the foundation looks on me I actually when I filmed the video I didn't show you guys my skin prep but I will show you guys that now just so you have an idea of what I did I use my glow tonic from pixie a sunscreen this is the Kula Moisturizing SPF 50 sunscreen. This is my second day using it. I used it yesterday and I really liked it. It didn't make me any more oily. So I think it's okay so far. We will see. And um, yeah, I think that's that's all I did for skin prep and then my primer. Time for an update. It is currently 1.10. So it's been exactly two hours. Johnny and I are heading out to Costco to get some stuff. And we're going to pick up a salad also. I feel like eating a salad. All right, let's be out. It's been four and a half hours and everything still looks really good. So I'll show you guys what I look like. I do like the luminous, luminousness of it. Um, I don't think it's really like greasy or anything like that. There's supposed to be a lot of snow. Hopefully it comes from, hopefully it's crazy enough to um, have to work. <laughs> I was expecting my nose to be a lot more shiny. I had my coat on, I was feeling hot in the supermarket. But it still was pretty good. We went from Costco to the regular supermarket because you always have to do both, you know? Um, but yeah, I think it feels really, really... It might have to do with the setting spray because yesterday my nose was a little more shiny around this time. So I think the setting spray definitely does help a lot. It's supposed to be one of the best setting sprays out there. So, yeah. So it's been eight hours, going on to nine hours, you guys. And everything still looks pretty good. I am a little bit dewy, but I don't mind this amount of dew. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person it looks fine. It's just a little bit of dew. I usually wear my foundations for eight hours and less. 
so I'm gonna end this wear test right now you guys it looks bomb as you can see hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up as always I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video bye